everybody, it's Friday and I'm changing the location upstairs because um, we have some illnesses in our family. Olivia is on the disabled list today and she is not able to participate because she is asleep. But we have two big bins filled with fan mail and I'm going to be opening these all up. Now, let's pick one of these, take it into my kitchen and see what we have. Okay, our first package of the Friday is from someone named the Card Dreamer. Pretty cool name. Wow, we got a baseball in here. That is pretty awesome. It's from the Card Dreamer. Looks like there's a bunch of different odds and ends in here. We have a uh, opened case there, which will happen from time to time to do because they will break open. Oh, a 1989 Topps Upper Deck High Series set. That's pretty cool. I see that from time to time in my travels. And a mystery pack. Let's see if there's a note or anything in here. All right, so we have the Denny's set from 1997, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's Derek. Do you just like Sport Flicks? Uh, I think Sport Flicks, I thought they were pretty much defunct back then, but Pinnacle, I guess, resurrected the Sport Flicks um, concept there in 1997 and put a lot of the stars from that area in there. I never had that set, so that is pretty awesome. It is an autograph. There is your autograph. And it is signed by Casey McGahey, the ex-brewer slash pirate who went to play in Japan. I remember him when he was with the Pirates a few years ago. And then we have a Jose De Leon. I remember him play for the Pirates. I guess these might be tattoos. Dan Quisenberry, Steve Carlton. Those are neat. A Willie Stargell and a Nolan Ryan. What is this? Limited collectible. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nolan Ryan um, has it has his career stats on there. That is a nice looking card. It's 22 karat gold. I haven't seen that before. That is pretty nice. A Nolan Ryan 22 karat gold card. It says my YouTube name is The Card Dreamer. So go ahead and check out The Card Dreamer on YouTube. Like me, he also has a flea market find video series. Came across our channel four months ago and has been addicted ever since. Very nice. I really appreciate it. And if I find any old football cards, I will have to keep you in mind. I don't our next package comes to us from Zach Bright. And Zach looks like he is from Ligonier, Indiana. That's pretty cool. There's a little town right nearby here called Ligonier. And it is one of the nicest small towns in all of um, western Pennsylvania, in my opinion. So it's cool to see that name. I think I've driven past Ligonier, Indiana a few times on my way out to Chicago. Because I've recognized the name just from the town out here. Let's see what we have in here. I see a bunch of cards in top loaders. And some more cards also. And... Olivia's going to have a nice surprise when she wakes up. Thank you for those. I'll put those aside. Olivia is sick, um, has a cough and everything, possibly has walking pneumonia. So she has missed the last two days of school. Hopefully she gets better soon. Let's see what Zach says. He writes, I really enjoy your videos. I have recently just started collecting again. You have taught me a lot what to look for. I'm praying for you to fight this cancer. I personally collect Detroit Tigers. Still looking for the Miggy rookie card. We have, oh, wow. Is that a 1955 Bowman card? Wow, there is a bunch of them. These are really cool. 1955 Bowman cards. Let's see if there's any players who I can recognize. Obviously, the best players are going to be worth lots of money there's a 1962 tops card this guy's a rookie card he looks like he's like 45 years old cliff cook and then we have wally post i've heard of wally post and then bobby Locke and daryl johnson some 1962 cards i saw these a lot my dad used to have tons of these i think he only had like one or two of these my dad was born in 1950 so his um main cards that he has are from like 1960 through like 1962 or his uh, bread and butter of his collection. Those are really nice. Thank you for those. I love vintage cards. Doesn't matter if they are creased or have rounded corners to me. I I collect them anyways. And we also have a bunch of other cards in here that are in top loaders. We have uh, Corey Seager and then the Wave of the Future card. Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, Cal Ripken Jr. Goldie. Oh, Tony Gwynn rookie card. 
That's a cool one. Thank you for that. My brother picked that up at the indoor flea market in a video that we just did this week. He got it for a buck. The guy actually told him to take it for free, but my brother felt bad. Yasiel Puig rookie card. And I don't have that one. That is pretty cool. Thank you for that one. Oh, Carl Crawford. Carl Crawford had a really nice career. He's also the cousin of J.P. Crawford, and that's an autograph. That is pretty awesome. And then we have a Wei Chi Huang Arizona Diamondbacks relic. That is pretty cool. And also a Barry Zito relic. Wow, Barry Zito is a good one to have. He had a really nice career. Also, he's a really good guitar player. Josh Bell autograph. Really cool. Thank you for that. And Jose Bautista. Jose Bautista was one of my favorite players back in the mid-2000s when he was with the Pirates. He was actually my favorite Pirate back in like 2006 or, or so. Then they traded him away. The first ever game home run I caught was a Jose Bautista home run on June 30th, 2006 against the Tigers. On the fly out there. Then we have, wow, Clayton Kershaw. This is his rookie card, 2008. It's a mid nine. I haven't seen this one before. TriStar Projections. I do have Kershaw's 2008 uh, Stadium Club rookie card and also his Topps Update card, but I do not have this one. That is pretty awesome. Thank you for that. These are pretty cool. I picked these up. I, th I forget the year. I think they're from 1981, I want to say, or thereabouts. But um, these are pretty nice. You can, like, tear them apart and, like, I guess hang them up in your room. Gary, thank you for that. All right, our next package comes to us from James Dubset Alonto. By the way, this one came with a 525 postage due on it, so I had to pay 525 for this one to be delivered. Uh, he does say open on YouTube, so it seemed like something pretty important. So I'm hoping it is well worth it. Let's find out. Inside we have, oh, a bunch of 1990 Donruss. See a Starling Marte, which is pretty cool. I actually thought these might have been like hockey pucks or something at first. I couldn't really tell what they were when I was trying to feel the uh, package to decide if I wanted to accept it or send it back. Uh, when something is sent postage due, you do have the option of... Uh, sending it back or accepting it. So I accepted this one. There was a couple other ones that came postage to, uh, but I just said to uh, send them back because they were like, I think it was like $2 a piece. I didn't even look who sent them though. I just told the uh, clerk to send them back. So if you did send me something and it gets returned to you, sorry about that. Um, let's see, we got a lot of bucko stuff in here. We have some pirates wristbands, some schedules, and a um, ball here with James Dubset, uh, his autograph on there. So it says, I've been watching your YouTube videos for like three years now. I really love your YouTube videos about ball hawks. I'm a ball hawk also. I only caught three balls so far. I am giving you some Pirates baseball cards. I got three autographs for you. I, I almost missed these autos here. We have a Nick Kingham autograph postcard. 5x7, a picture, and also, almost missed this one, Jordan Luplo autograph and Trevor Williams autograph. So those are pretty nice. Thank you. And a PNC Park magnet. Actually, a few of these. These will come in handy. I like these a lot. Thank you. Okay, our next package comes from Lam Wai Kin. By the way, they are from Hong Kong. So this is a first for me. I have never received anything uh, in regards to fan mail from China, we have a little note. Love your videos. Hope you recover soon. Best wishes, Ricky. We have some, okay, they're not Chinese cards, but we do have an Alex Bregman rookie card there. Trey Mancini, that's a pretty nice one. Alan and Ginter cards are pretty cool. And then we have, oh, a nice relic of Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown actually was a beast. Although I'm pretty sure he did steroids. Thank you very much for those cards, Ricky. It's from Saul C. Saul is from Florida. He sent a nice priority mailbox package. I use these all the time. Uh, it usually costs me $6.85. They usually get a little bit of an eBay discount when you use their stuff. 
Uh, we have a little note here. It says, I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you. I hope you and yours also have a very Merry Christmas. What are these? I've never seen these before. You might know what these are. Are these Pokemon? I think they are. They're pretty big, pretty nice. I'll put these aside in her Pokemon pile for tomorrow morning. A little package here with some cards in it. Giolito and Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger is kind of breaking out as a star. And then it says, from my family to yours, we wish you a successful surgery and recovery. Keep your head and spirit up. Thank you very much. The surgery is scheduled for December 19th. That's the big day. And I just can't wait to get it over with so I can bounce right back. And it is a Daniel Norris autograph card. That is very nice. Thank you very much for that. Daniel Norris, as everyone knows by now, had the same cancer that I have, and he beat it. And this one says I've picked up these for my PC. PC, if you're ever wondering what that means, in baseball card lingo, that means personal collection. Most of you, if you don't follow the hobby too much, you might think it means personal computer, because that is a common abbreviation for that also. No, I'm not going to insert this into my disk drive. I'm going to put it into my personal collection. And it's another nice Daniel Norris card. That is nice. Immaculate Collection Rookie Card. Thank you very much for those. All right, our next package is a nice bubble mailer from Abel Carlos. I would definitely love to check out Las Vegas one of these days. Um, I don't know if I would gamble. I'm not really a gambling man, but I would definitely like to see what all the hubbub is about out that way. All right, we have, what is this? Looks like some dietary supplements. This is interesting. It says, Greetings from Vegas. I subscribe to your channel and you offer us a unique perspective on the hobby that we all love. Thank you for what you do. I watched the video when you shared with us that you were diagnosed with cancer. I'll keep you in my prayers. I would like to share with you what I drink that provides my body with as much needed nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. I've included a book and a couple packets so you can review and decide if it will be of any benefit. Sight. I will definitely have to check that out. Very nice. Can't wait to give that a try. Thank you very much for the supplements. And we should all try to eat healthier. Our next package comes from a neighbor, basically. David is from the same town I grew up in, Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Born and raised, I was born and raised in Greensburg. I lived there from age zero up until age 24. I just moved out a little more towards the mountains. We have a nice Hallmark box here. All right, inside we have a note and lots of cards. The note says, my name is Zach and I'm 14 years old. I have loved your videos for about a year and would like to send you some of my baseball cards as a thank you. All right, it looks like we have some homemade packs in here. These are always pretty cool. All right, let's start with this stack of cards here at the bottom of the pile. We have, well, Freddie Freeman rookie card right off the bat, 2011. That's a decent one. And it's not in too bad of a shape. Maybe a little bit of a bent corner here or there from not being in a sleeve. Wow, Tom Seaver, 1971 tops. That's a good one. I really appreciate that. I don't have that card. I'm going to put that on the side in the good pile. Daniel Norris rookie card, very nice. Byron Buxton rookie card, Reggie Jackson. This one says autos. And we're not talking about cars. We're talking about cards. We have Aaron Crow. I remember him. And Brandon Singh. I don't remember Brandon Singh, but I do remember Aaron Crow always would go without a hat in batting practice and constantly be running his fingers through his hair like he was really proud of it. We have a good rookies one. I'm definitely interested in good rookies. Got a cup card there. Chris Sale, that's a good rookie card. This Chris Sale rookie card is from a factory set. That is pretty cool. At first, I thought it might have been a reprint, but upon looking at the back, usually they put the word reprint down there. This is from a special factory set. I haven't seen that one before. 
Uh, what else do we have here? Lance Berkman, another Chris Sale, not the fact, well, two of them, that's really nice of you. I really appreciate that. So a grand total of three Chris Sale rookie cards. That was definitely worth it. Ricky Henderson, 88, and George Brett, 88, big. We have a Stars and Hall of Famers pack. Uh, with Lance Parrish on the top. Johnny Bench, 1981 All-Star card is pretty cool. We have a one that says Other Cards Number One. Oh, these are good other cards. Mike Trout is on the top. A Zach Britton rookie card. I like that one a lot. I don't think I have that one. Zach Britton is a free agent. It's a nice Manny Sanguian 71. Don't care if it's wrinkled up. Still cool to have. John Smoltz. That never looks right. Smoltz in a different uniform. Smoltz played with the Braves almost his, his entire career. Then went to the Cardinals and finished up with a really crappy season with the Red Sox. Nobody remembers that, though. We all remember Smoltz as a Brave and a Brave only. Other stars and Hall of Famers. That was before Arietta's beard. Christian Yelich, 2015. A Rolos Chapman rookie card. Man, you put some really nice rookie cards in here. Love that one. That one's good over in the personal pile as well. Make sure that I keep that one. Now we get into the cool stuff that I've been looking at. My dad's older cards that are doubles. So you're 14. So your dad is probably, say, 44, I'm just going to guess. So these might be cards from the 70s. That Yeah, best of the best. Open last. The best of the best. Clint Frazier. Mookie Betts, Manny Machado rookie card. You're not kidding. That one is probably the best one so far out of the uh, Chapman and Sales. And there's a Chapman Special Factory Edition. Wow. And Freddie Freeman. So you got me two Freeman rookie cards, two Chapmans, three Chris Sale rookie cards, a Manny Machado rookie card. This package was awesome. Thank you very much. All right, our next package is from our buddy Florencio Pena, who uh, collects... Diamondbacks and Giants. Got to be careful when you snip those open. And from our buddy Florencia, we have a Cal Ripken Jr. Chronicles numbered card out of 99. That's pretty cool. Then we have some Heritage cards. Don't forget a John Farrell. John Farrell, number out of 499. No longer the manager of the Red Sox. But I do believe he's a scout now for, I think, the Reds. And Florencia writes, I just want to let you know that I really like your videos. Keep it up. The breaks have been awesome. I got some really great cards. I sent you a few extra cards I got in the last break. All right, our next package comes to us from Matthew Salisbury. Nice. I think this is my third Christmas card I've gotten, so not too many. This is going to go on the shelf with the others. I do appreciate it. It says, came across this oddball Andy Van Slyke card that I hope you don't have. Oh, it's a Hills card, Andy Van Slyke. I'm not sure if I do have that one. Hills was a department store, kind of like Walmart, Kmart, Ames around here. Went out of business years ago, and Hills was the first place I ever bought baseball cards at. Love that store. My brother also loves that store. He actually has a Hills shopping cart still in his house. All right, our next package looks like it's coming from Wisconsin, and it is from Ryan Takarian. And inside of this package, I'm going to have to edit out his address there. Hanley Ramirez relic. That is pretty cool. A nice Roberto Clemente, 1998 Tops Chrome in a super hard sheet. Oh, also, we got a JMO, a Jameson Tyone autograph. That is nice. And a Ken Griffey Jr. I don't think I've seen this card in a long time. This is from the... Uh, final edition update set so i'm not used to seeing this version of the 91 griffey jr taking some swings in the cage there before the all-star game in toronto at the sky dome as it was known back then 
Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm 14 years old from Wisconsin, which is just outside of Milwaukee. I'm a huge Brewers fan. By the way, I still can't get over Game 7. Anyways, I wrote this letter to you to tell you how much I enjoy what you do for both YouTube and the baseball card community. I love your videos. They always bring a smile to my face. Thank you very much for writing to me and sending me cards, Ryan. This next package comes to us from someone named Ostrander. It says, do not bend. Inside, we've got some Pokemon cards which I will set aside for Olivia when she wakes up tomorrow. And we have an autograph from someone named Watts. From Sean Watts. And there's an MLB The Show code, which is awesome. I appreciate that. I'm going to take that off camera and put that aside so no one can steal that. 1987 tops traded Andy Vance like love this card. I love watching your videos. You are one of my favorite content creators. You are one of the only ones that goes to MLB games and I enjoy that. I also like the card openings. All right, our next package comes to us from Dustin and it is some Pirates cards from the 90s and 80s like to receive some Cubs autographs or relics. Thank you, Dustin. All right, this next package has a little bit of an issue with it. And the issue is that it has this slit in it. So I don't know if any of the cards fell out in the process of being sent. Looks like it was one of these like automatic peel ones that you can just peel it open. And it was wide open when I got it. So I'm hoping that all the cards made it but we shall see the note says merry christmas and happy new year i started watching your videos around july and subscribed to your youtube channel a few days ago what? years i hope you will keep posting video updates as you fight the thyroid cancer keep up the good work i was thinking about maybe when i have the surgery giving you an update but i, I didn't want this to turn into like a weekly thing or anything like that but I will keep you updated because I'm sure some of you would like to know how it goes or how it went. So that's probably the next time you'll see anything about that will be when I have the surgery. And these are some nice in-person autographs that you got here. Um, biggest name that I see from this set Pretty cool stuff, thank you. Our next package is from Grant Spangy. We have a note and some cards. Let's check out the note first. It says, my name is Grant and I'm 10 years old, live in Northern Michigan and my family's are huge Chicago Cubs fans. Of course you do since that's your hometown. Oh, you can send me a Walker Bueller rookie card. That is very nice, thank you for that one. Can never get enough Walker Bueller rookie cards. Oh, there's a show code in here. That is awesome. MLB The Show. There's some digits on here, which I'll take off camera. Um, get some free packs. Nice Steven Piscotti. And an Ozzy Albies rookie card I see here. Uh, Yon Moncada rookie card. It's pretty cool. Thank you very much for the cards. Okay, our next package comes from Randall Robertson. Inside, we have... So, oh, nice. A Gypsy Queen Josh Johnson relic. And also a Bryce Harper Chrome. Bryce looks pretty young in that card. That is actually from 2011. That's an old one. Really cool. And also a Grady Sizemore relic. Grady Sizemore would do anything to catch the ball out there. The guy played super hard. It probably cost him in the end with all the injuries as they piled up. But in the mid-2000s, he was one of the best outfielders there was. Looking for a note in here. I don't see a note. But I am seeing lots of autographs and relics. Very nice, Randall. Thank you very much. Travis Buck autograph. That's pretty cool. It's his rookie card. There's kind of like a, a helmet in there. I've never seen that before. And then we have an Andrew Kashner autograph. That's pretty cool. Kashner still plays. Jason Kipnis. That's a good one. Jason Kipnis. 
Play second base and a little bit of outfield. Charles Brewer. Houston Street. Houston Street was a lights out closer for a long time. Fausto Carmona. That's actually not his real name. His real name is Roberto Hernandez, if I remember correctly. But I always remember him as Fausto Carmona. Drew Pomeranz. That's a pretty cool one. Then we have a clear-cut Travis Hafner. Travis Hafner was a beast back in the day. In batting practice, he used to reach the second deck in right field. And I really never see anyone really do that anymore. And Josh Tomlin is the next one up. Josh Tomlin. Indians pitcher, uh, Drupal Cabrera has had a nice long career, still doing pretty decent, might have been one of the Mets' best hitters last year. Lonnie Chisenhall, the newest Pirates um, pickup, he was signed to a free agent deal worth $2.5 bucks. He's going to play some right field as Gregory Plonk goes on the mend. We got a C.J. Wilson autograph there, that looks like it might be an in-person autograph, that's pretty cool. And a Carlos Santana rookie card from Topps Chrome 2010. That is very nice. Carlos Santana just got traded the other day to the Mariners. And then in this pack, it looks like we might have some rookie cards here. Will Middlebrooks, Josh Donaldson. Look at Josh Donaldson. He used to play catcher. First Bowman Chrome card. Scooter Jeanette. He's going to be a free agent after next year. So I don't know if the Reds are going to trade him or not. It's likely he's going to get moved by... The uh, trade deadline, Kyle Seeger, Aroldis Chapman Bowman Chrome. Then we have Salvador Perez rookie card. Very nice. That is a good one. Salvi Perez, Eduardo Nunez, and Max Kepler. And then we have an Aaron Sanchez autograph. Aaron Sanchez, that's a great one. I like Aaron Sanchez a lot. Had a little conversation with him in batting practice. Next is a Jim Tomey. Jim Tomey relic. Very nice. Hall of Famer, Jim Tomey. That is another great one. Randall, you sent me some awesome stuff here. Really, really appreciate it. Those here, guys. This one is a Derek Dietrich from back in the day. School Colors and Ricky Nolasco. Nice signature on that from Nolasco. Extra edition rookie card. That is a cool one, JMO. And an autograph. Really nice. Jameson Talion is the Pirates ace. And a Babe Ruth, Willie Adames. Very nice package there, Randall. Thank you so much. Lots of good autos. I really appreciate that. Love the autographs. All right, our next package is from Aaron McCloskey. A quick look. Oh, Jock Peterson. That's a good one. Jock Peterson Relic from the Dodgers. Then we got a coupon here, which I could put to use on a purchase of a fat pack. It'd buck off. Miguel Andujar, I like that card a lot. Brandon Cancel Rookie card. I've been getting a lot of that one recently, and I like it a lot. It's a nice Mike Trout Cup card. Definitely love that one. That's probably the second best Trout card you can get if you're not able to get the um, rookie card in terms of base cards, at least. That cup card is still worth at least a few dollars. Jose Altuve second year card, 2012. That is a nice one. And then we also have a Taiwan Walker rookie card, Jake Arietta. Actually, basketball cards in here. No, there's a Madison Bumgarner rookie card. Really nice. Love this card. This is the second card I have of 2010 Toss Madison Bumgarner, and I love it. Thank you very much for that one. Says, it says, hi, my name is Aaron McCloskey. I'm an 18-year-old card collector from Clearfield, Pennsylvania. I've been watching your channel for about a month now, and I love I'm it. Sending you some stuff soon. And you also would like me to sign an index card for you. Thank you very much for the package. Those were really good cards package looks like there's a box inside of here and this one is from south lake threads there are a bunch of cards in here let's take out the best ones i see a daniel norris rookie card on the back that is a nice one thank you very much for that oh wow i just saw this hiding in the box a walker bueller rookie card that is nice 
Walker Bueller Bowman rookie card. Needed that one. Thank you very much. John Bowker, I caught one of his in-game home runs on the fly back in, oh, I can't even remember the year, 2010, I think. Yes. It says, thanks for your videos and your overall positive attitude. Keep strong, and there's no doubt you can beat this. Including the package are some cards I think you will enjoy, including some Daniel Norris rookie cards and Pirates cards. It's Chris, and he's got a website, southlakethreads.com. Thank you very much, Chris. All right, it's time for our next package. This one is from Bill and Lessa and Bella Penrod. And they actually live not too far away from me. We are both from the Laurel Highlands area. We have to, ooh, very nice. Wow, she's gonna love this. Oh my gosh. She is absolutely gonna love this. I don't know if I should go wake her up or not. That is really awesome. There's also some cards in here, and I don't want to open that up right now. Oh, we have a nice book here from Forbes Field. Then we have the Iowa Baseball Confederacy. This looks like it might be a book from Field of Dreams. In here, it's a Christmas card. You're so nice to know. Season two. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to see if Olivia's awake. Levy, you awake? Yeah. Levy, I got something for you. It's hard to open this. Are you still feeling sick? That's like a book bag. You could take that to school. Whoa. At the sentence, it's a very, very big thank you. Now I can carry stuff better. All right, our next package is from Eric Corsello. Might have some heritage cards. Let's check out the note first. It says, Dear Eric, I love your videos, especially because I can relate as I find myself going to flea markets and card shops all the time looking for sweet cards. Watch your mail day videos and thought it would be exciting to, to contribute. Let's see what he sent to us. Oh, I see a nice old card there. Maybe, a, what is it, a 77? 77 Raleigh Fingers. So we have a nice Justin Verlander rookie card from Bowman. That is really awesome. Thank you for that. And a Manny Machado rookie card. Top prospects. Bowman prospects card. Man, it doesn't even really look like Manny Machado that much. He's really grown up. These old cards. Wow, 1977. 1979. Let's see what we got here. Reggie Jackson. That is awesome. 1976 tops. Reggie Jackson All-Star card. Love that one. Luis Aparicio. 1972. That's also really cool. There's a Carl Yastrzemski. Very nice. A Johnny Bench from 79 and a 1977 Raleigh Fingers. Really nice cards. Love the 70s cards. Thank you so much for that. Our next package is from Bob G. And he used one of these nice um, flat rate boxes. Looks like Libby has another surprise. But I just woke her up about 10 minutes ago. So I don't know if she's still awake. And I don't want to keep her up all night. That's going to go in her collection of stuff in the morning. All right. It says, this is my second submission to Fan Mail Friday. I just picked up some special cards just for me. 
Bob also writes, thank you for the Pirates rookie cards you sent last time. No need to respond this time. Let's see what Bob sent here. All right, I've got this one busted open, and we have some Topps Big League cards on the very top there. And then some Stadium Club is in there. And in the next pack, we got a Daniel Norris on top. That is cool. And John Gray, a Rollers Chapman rookie card. Wow. That is very, very nice. Thank you for that. That's like the third one we've gotten today. Oh, we have a Daniel Norris autograph. That is super cool. Thank you for that one. And then a Daniel Norris gold rookie card. Cool. That's numbered out of 2015. Daniel Norris also a rookie card in his Blue Jays uniform since he was traded from the Jays to the Tigers. These are both from the same year. Just one is an update card, I do believe. Yep. In his Tigers uni. And then we have another, wow, lots of Daniel Norris cards. Very cool. Thank you so much. And you also put in a pack of Teeny Mates. Olivia loves Teeny Mates. I actually caught her playing with these a few days ago. It was really awesome. She had set up a little baseball field downstairs, and she had all the Teeny Mates set up in the right positions, and she was actually imagining a baseball game using these guys. So she will definitely use these. Thank you for the Teeny Mates. Okay, our next package. This is actually two packages here, and they're both from the same person, so I'll break them both open at the same time. They are both from Noah Carbone. Two envelopes here and lots of stuff in them. Moments cards from Tops. And in this bag, we've got, it looks like at least some relics. Uh, Justin Verlander relic. That is a good one. Justin Verlander is going to be a Hall of Famer for sure. Ahmed Rosario, Verdugo. There's a nice Jackie Robinson pass. Ronald Acuna Jr. like that card a lot from Tops Heritage. Aaron Judge. I've never seen this card before. Emergence, Rise back when he was a minor leaguer, and a 2013 rookie card of Manny Machado. And Dylan Bunny, but Manny Machado is the main one there. That is awesome. Thank you, Nolan. Love those cards. And there's another big bag here of cards featuring a Chris Bryant rookie card on top. Really like that one. Chris Bryant had a bit of a down year last year, but he's got to bounce back for sure. Tyler Glass now relic. I think Tyler Glass now is going to be an all-star this coming year for the Rays, believe it or not. I've also heard the Rays are looking at Charlie Morton possibly to sign as a free agent. Uh, Roy Oswalt, that is a good one. Roy Oswalt up for the Hall of Fame. He's not going to get in this year. I don't know if he ever gets in, but he will get some votes and probably stay on the ballot for 10 years. Benintendi, rookie card is very, very nice. Bryce Harper, Aaron Judge, rookie card. Wow, you got some good stuff here, Nolan. Really like the Aaron Judge rookie cards. Walker Bueller rookie card. There's a nice Zach Granke um, relic, commemorative relic. Dustin Fowler. Coy Seager rookie card. Another Walker Bueller. Very, very nice. Aaron Judge rookie card again. And an Aaron Judge home run derby card. Here's Nolan's note. I've sent to you many times now. I love to watch your videos. I like to work on lots of sets with my Dad, recently we completed the 2018 Top Series 1, 2, and update sets and 1977 Tops. That's a pretty cool project. Okay, our next package is from Miss Katie Couch. Inside, we have a show code from 2017. It says, enclosed are some base cards for you and Pokemon cards for Livy. I have been watching your channel since 2016, and I must say, you provide good family-oriented entertainment. All right, we have a show code, and I don't have MLB The Show 2017 anymore, so if somebody wants to borrow this code, you can. Uh, Tony Gwynn is in there, and a Matt Williams. Very nice. Our next package is from Tony Mendez. And we have a Brett Lowry rookie card on top there. Let's check out everything in here. They're all in top loaders to keep them nice and safe and sound. There's a Jung Ho Gung rookie card. He'll be back this year. Evan Meek, I like Evan Meek a lot. Wish he still played. Daniel Norris rookie card, very nice. 
It says, hello, my name is Tony Mendez and I'm 13 years old. I've been watching your videos for about two months now and I love your philosophy on collecting cards and getting them by going to auctions and other ways. Yeah, it's really fun doing it that route. As soon as possible. Thank you, Tony, for sending me those cards and I will definitely pick out a few Miguel Cabrera cards to send your way. All right, our next package is from Dalton Denneke. We've got some cards. I see Pokemon. Well, and it is a George Brett. It says, my name is Dalton, and I have a YouTube channel called Dalton Denneke right there if you'd like to search him up. I open new baseball packs and Pokemon. I got you some Pirates. I'm 12 years old. Can I please have some Royals 2018 cards? And K-State football cards. I don't know if I have any of those. Please sign my George Brett for me, please. I will sign it on the grass so that um, it shows up a little better. There you go. Sign it in Royals blue. Good thing that's, I mean, that's the only pen I have here. All right, this next one is from NMNN -N -N Sports Cards. Sports Cards Shop. Oh, they got the show codes. Really nice. Bag of cards here. Jacob DeGrom rookie card. No way. Wow, I've been looking for this. 2014 Topps Update. This is his rookie debut. There's two different rookie cards in that set. There's a debut card and a regular base one. And this is one of them. Wow, thank you for that. That makes me happy. Now I... Might not need to open up the rest of those packs unless you guys want me to. Glaber Torres rookie card. That is a good one. The note says, my name is Nicholas. I'm a very big fan of your channel as well as the St. Louis Cardinals. I sent you some cards as well as two show codes. Hey. All right, it's time for our next package. And this one comes from KB. I wonder if anybody remembers KB Toys. That place was a pretty cool place Used to go there for Nintendo games. They also sold cards there back in the day, but they've been out of business for a while now, I do believe. I don't see a note in there from KB, so let's just check out the cards. We have an Andrew McCutcheon. That's an old one. 2008 Bowman. A Josh Bell rookie card. Wow, some nice rookie cards. These aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill pirates. These are all rookie. Wow, first Bowman Chrome card, Starling Marte. Really appreciate those cards that you sent. We'll check out this one. Some more pirates rookie cards. Very nice. All right, this next one's going to be an easy one. It's a little envelope here, and it is from Mr. Rock Filipowicz. Oh, nice. A Daniel Norris relic. 163 Ks in the minor leagues. That is a nice card. It says, good luck with your surgery. I had a similar bout with cancer. I thought you could use something to make your day. I included a Daniel Norris relic card. I remember you mentioning you were collecting his cards due to his fight against cancer as well. Thank you very much, Rock. That is a very nice gesture. I'm going to take that off of here. And stick it in my Daniel Norris personal collection pile. All right, our next package is from Anne Marie. Anne Marie, don't want to mess up your last name. Your note says, I love your YouTube channel. You inspired me to make my own. It's called Ants Yanks. I am sending you three baseball cards, three in person autographs, and Gary Gaetti, Ernie Witt, and J.R. Tolls. Called Ants Yanks. Yanks. Let's check them out. Here are the schedules. Two pocket schedules there and J.R. Tolls in person, Gary Gaetti in person, and Ernie Witt in person autos. Thank you. Our next to last one is from Easton Cecil. And he made a Hall of Fame set. Writes back, I thank you greatly for the two exciting and 
enjoyable Alex Verdugos. Yes, I did send you some Verdugo rookie cards. And you sent me some more cards for my collection. A Don Sutton Diamond Kings card. A Carlton Fisk, it looks like. Support Flix, Gary Carter. Yastrzemski, Schmidt, Gossage. The Wizard, that is Ozzy Smith. And then this one looks like it's probably you. That is interesting. That is an Easton Cecil Relic card or Tops Negative card, it looks like. One of one. Sandy Olmar, not a Hall of Famer, but still had a nice career. Mantle and the show code. Thank you very much for the show code. Love show codes. And our final package on this Fan Mail Friday comes to us from Eric Johnson in Michigan. And inside we have a bunch of cards, probably about 3,000 cards. Let's see what it says. The note says, I'm a huge fan of your channel and enjoy watching the different kind of videos you put out. I'm hoping using the power of your 14,000 plus subscribers, you could help me out. I lost my job six months ago and I'm now selling my card collection to pay my bills. I will be selling lots similar to this one I sent you. My eBay username is Tagger Bolt, or you could search the keywords card lot. We're going to get a lot if you search card, card lot, so maybe just look up Tagger Bolt. If you go through the cards in the envelope only on camera, the 2,500 additional cards are mostly commons, but also some pretty good hits in there as well. Please keep these cards as a thank you. Lots of commons from 88 Fleer, and let's see, I'm seeing 88 Don Russ and 93 Tops, and 87 Don Russ, and I see a 90 Tops, and they're 92 Tops. Here's a bunch of 2003 Tops, it looks like. That's the ones on top, so there might be some good cards in there. I just don't have time to go through all these right now and still get the video up at a decent hour tonight. So we're going to hit up the good cards that you get when you buy a lot off of Eric. And here are the good cards. Wow, I see a good one. Barry Bonds rookie card. I don't know how much uh, Tagger Bolts... Um, lots are, but I mean, if you're going to get really good hits like a Barry Bonds rookie in there, it might be worth it. And a Trevor Story rookie card is also really nice. Walker Bueller rookie card. Jim Bunning. That is a good one. Jim Bunning. 1969 tops. There's a George Brett 80 tops. And a Shoya Otani rookie card. I'll take that one all day long. We also have an autograph here of Jose Garcia from the Cardinals. 82 Nolan Ryan is really cool. Jeff Bagwell, 92 toss. Miguel and Duhar rookie card, love that one a lot. Schilling rookie card, 1981 Ozzie Smith. Sammy Sosa rookie card. There's a Ryan Zimmerman rookie card in there. Cool David Wright die cut card. What else we have? Moise Salou, minor league card. Nick Williams, Barry Bonds is pretty nice. John Hancock, signer of the in Declaration of Independence long, long ago. Craig Biggio, rookie card, 89 Fleer. Pedro Martinez, minor league card. That's pretty nice. And a Kent Herbeck. I used to call him Kent Home Runbeck back before I knew how to pronounce his name, just to be stupid when I was a little kid. Mike Piazza, 1993. Bobby Bonilla rookie card, like that one a lot. 86 tops traded and a Ken Griffey Jr. to close things out. Thank you very much again if you'd like to go and check out Tiger Bolt and buy a lot. Maybe if you have a YouTube channel and you open cards, this one might be a fun one to do for a video. Buy one of his lots and open it up. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Fan Mail Fridays would not be possible without you. The December giveaway is all this stuff. I'm going to have three different winners from three different pools. The first pool will be a random commenter, so comment on all of my videos to increase your chances. Second winner is going to be a pinned comment in each video, and then I will choose from among the pinned comments. And then the top comment in each video will also be the third and final winner. We'll have you all face off against each other in a little spin-off, and we'll pick a winner at the end of the month. Here's the prizes. 2018 Tops Archives featuring two autograph cards per box. 2015 Don Russ featuring three hits in a box. I also have 2016 Don Russ with one autograph in there. 
some cards from my personal collection. Kyrie Kent Jr. rookie card, Ricky Henderson rookie card, and then some graded cards from my personal collection. 1973 Topps Hank Aaron rated a 5. 1989 Topps traded Ken Griffey Jr. PSA 9 and a Jacob deGrom jersey uh, with a $125 tag on it. So all you have to do is just comment and thank you for watching the videos. Make sure that you're a subscriber, like the videos and comment. That's all you got to do. And finally, I want to give an official shout out to my two biggest patrons on Patreon. We got Terry and Kadeen, Big K's Cards and Collectibles is a YouTube channel that you need to follow and subscribe to. And Terry has been a longtime supporter of me. I thank you both so much.